Well, hello and how are you? Hey, it's Shenandoah Briscoe coming to you live right here in St. Charles, Missouri. First take, capital of Missouri, don't you know? 1821 to 1826. Alrighty then. That being said, hey, you know, this is blog number 192. That's right, blog hunt 192. I was sitting around the other day and I heard a song, well, it was a different song, I was kind of feeling a little, uh, uh, broke, you know, and I thought about something, I thought, you know, even when you're broke, you got a little bit of change in your pocket, and well, that kind of brought up a song from way back in my past, and so I was felt obliged to throw it on here for you, alright? Well, all righty then. I got some change in my pocket going jing-a-ling-a-ling. Wanna call you on telephone, baby, give you a ring. But each time we talk, I get the same old thing. Always no huggy, no kissy until I get a wedding ring. My honey and my baby, don't put my love on no shelf. She says, don't feed me no lines and keep your hands to yourself. Oh, baby, 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 why you gonna treat me this way? You know I'm your, still your lover boy. I still feel the same way. That's when she told me a story about a free milk and a cow and said, go to sleep. No huggy, no kissy until I get a wedding vow. My honey, my baby, don't put my love on no shelf. She said, don't feed me no lines and keep your hands to yourself. You see, I wanted her real bad and I was about to give in. That's when she started talking true love and started talking about sin. I said, honey, I'll give you... I'll live with you for the rest of my life, she said. No huggy, no kiss until you make me my wife. Make me your wife. And I said, my honey, my baby, don't put my love on no shelf. She says, don't hand me no lines and keep your hands to yourself. So there you have it. That was back in the good old days when I worked at the old uh, Kmart. At the Kmart garage out there on the uh, west side of, uh, well, let's see, it was on the, uh, it was on the uh, 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 north side, south side, east side, west side. Well, 70 went east and west, and it was on the other side from where I am. Anyway, it was over there. And it was at the end of the building. So anyway, I worked over there with a few friends of mine. And that song just always stuck in my pocket. And I was always a, always a singer. And I'd always sing songs like that. And then I had another favorite song, you know. And, uh, well, I felt I ought to throw it on here for you, too. Just because uh, it reminded me of another time when I got in a little bit of trouble. But I'll tell you about that when I'm true with the song. Alrighty? Well, alrighty then. Here's a little song I wrote. You might want to sing it note for work. Don't worry. Be happy. In every life we have some trouble. When you worry, you make it double. Don't worry. Be happy. Ooh. Ooh. Don't worry. Ooh. Be happy.
place to lay your head. Some people claim and some people came and took your bed. Don't worry, be happy. The landlord said your rent is late. He might have to get a jake. Don't worry, be happy. Look at me, I'm happy. Ooh, 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 ooh. don't worry. Ooh, 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 be happy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. here I give you my phone number. When you worry, call me. I'll make you happy. Ooh, 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 don't worry. Ooh, 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 be happy. Ooh, 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 don't worry, be happy. Ain't got no cash, ain't got no style. Ain't got no gal to make you smile. Don't worry, be happy. Cause when you worry, your face will frown. And that will bring everybody down. So don't worry. Be happy. I said don't worry. Be happy now. Ooh. Ooh. Don't worry. Ooh. Ooh. Be happy. Ooh. Don't worry. Ooh. Be happy. Oh, be happy now. Ooh, 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 don't worry, be happy now. I said, don't worry, be happy. I'm not worried, I'm happy. Well, what brought that back up was, well, at this one point in time, I had uh, some friends in, uh, working at that same gas station and we decided we'd actually know at that point in time I was working out at Venture and uh, we decided we was going to go take ourselves a float, I mean a camping trip. Hopefully this don't get in my way because I don't have any water to drink and uh, I might dry up on us. So let's hope that don't happen. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can't remedy that problem. Alrighty there, I hope I've got it cleared up and out of the way enough for me to continue on, get this whole thing done. But anyway, we had taken a camping trip, and well, every time we take a camping trip, well, we took on along uh, either five or six cases of beer or a keg. Well, this particular time we had taken a keg, and uh, we'd been out there two days camping out in the middle of nowhere, and uh, way off out behind Warrington somewhere. But anyway, we come. We decided we were coming back home from War, uh, coming back home to St. Charles, and well, we stopped in there at Warrington's uh, Pizza Hut there, and well, uh, we went over there to the uh, jukebox. I went over to the jukebox, and I noticed that my favorite song was on there, and I hadn't heard it for a little while, and well, I was kind of happy, and so I threw in a couple bucks and played it for everyone up. <laughs> And well, after a while uh, of me singing and, and some of the other patriots kind of laughing and everything and giggling, I don't think the only person, I think the only person in the place that didn't enjoy it was the manager. So pretty soon he came out there and uh, he asked if we'd quit having such a good time in his establishment. And I had asked him, well, had he gotten any complaints? And he said, nope but he wasn't real thrilled with us being there said he'd have to call the police and well I said well don't worry be happy and the song kicked back on again and well therefore I started singing again and next thing I know he unplugs my jukebox and I lost all my quarters I said you gonna reimburse me for that change that I spent over there and he says no I guess I'd like for y'all to leave. I said, can you box our pizza for us? And he says, well, the police are on the way. And I said, well, that's all right. We'll, we'll go ahead and box. We'll go ahead and take your boxes and we'll go on, get on out of here. And so he threw the pizza in a box and we took our honeys right on out the door. And we got out to the parking lot and was just loading up. And the police showed up. And well, you know how the police are. 
they had a few questions for us, but they didn't really do anything to us right there out in Warrington. We just kind of shucked it off, and we ended up getting back in the cars and driving on home after a little bit of an alcoholic uh, test to see if we was able to drive. And, of course, by that time, you know, you have a pizza and a half in you, and you ain't had a beer, drink a beer since, oh, 7 o'clock in the morning, and it's 10.30 now, and, well, we were all pretty well fine to drive. And I said, I just don't understand. All I'd done was played some music on the jukebox, and, well, the guy just wasn't happy about it. And so he asked us to leave, and, well, we're leaving cordial-like. And so, he didn't really have any complaint with us. He just let us go, and well, we did. We went on and tipped ourselves back on down the road. Now, I tell you what, somebody posted a picture of a CB radio. It was a Cobra, a Cobra 40 channel CB radio. And uh, it said, like, if you've ever seen one of these, and share if you've ever had one of these. Well, I didn't have that exact brand of uh, CB radio, but I had a few others. And, uh, I tell you what, my best CB radio was an RKO radio. And I picked it up at a, uh, ABC Liquidators auction barn. And they used to have a, every Friday night, they'd have a Wednesday nights and Friday nights, they'd have an auction. Well, they had that CB radio up there one time, and I picked that thing up for brand new in the box, $10.00. And uh, then I, at that point in time, I had me a K40 antenna, and I used to sit there on that K40 antenna, and I could catch a good skip with that radio, and I'd talk for miles and miles on that radio, best radio I ever had, and I don't know, something come across my mind to get rid of it, so I traded it to somebody, sure wish I'd have had it back, though, many a times, because I tell you what, when you become a truck driver, and you want to be able to talk out, well, you want something that's going to be able to get somewhere and some distance on it, and well, that RKO radio would have just done the trick. But anyway, they asked, and I said, well, my handle used to be the Blue Bomber, and well, I was a Blue Bomber there for a while because it owed me a, a Blue 72 Ford Torino, which I've told you the story of what happened to that. Why I don't wear seat belts to this day on account of that vehicle. We were playing with it, playing Dukes of Hazard style, and well, we were side swiping trees and playing around in Dry Creek bed, and then we decided we was gonna go on down to a different Dry Creek bed, and a friend of mine jumped in there and he said, "Well, let me drive." Well, this was after we had uh, set up a, after we'd had a flat and repaired that, and. Uh, we got ourselves up there on the road, and I said, well, uh, let's not really do any playing on the road on account, well, we don't know what's going to happen. Well, of course, uh, there was this perfect tree for the broad slide, broadside slide and try to catch that corner to a, that uh, rear quarter pad on. Well, he broadslide, he went for the slide, and well, we got traction before we got to the tree, and well, there was an embankment up on the hill on the left, so we went up on the embankment, and we flipped her upside down. Well, it was upside down there for a few minutes, and I done, well, first off, I was hanging out the door filming with a, a Super 8 video camera, which was that's what we had back in the day. It was before VHS. But anyway, I told that whole story in one of my previous posts, but I'll get back to it tomorrow if you really want me to. Uh, but anyway, he, here we go. Uh, I, he says, I'm going to try this tree, so I slip back down inside, and, and uh, he hits that traction, and we rolled her over nice and slow, but uh, I was the only one not in the seatbelt. Everybody else was hanging upside down, and well... They were falling from that ceiling to the floor. Well, it was upside down, so they were falling from their seats down to the ceiling and thumping on their heads. And I was sitting there thinking, 
What if we'd have been in one of them dry creek beds? Well, had we been in one of them creek beds, which wasn't so dry, um, they'd have been underwater, and I'd have been first one out. And well, from that day on, I decided to stop wearing the OC belt. Yeah, remember when I said my throat was pretty dry and I wasn't going to be able to remedy the problem? Well, it looks like I'm not going to be able to remedy it anymore, so it's my time up anyway, so this here is Shenandoah Briscoe saying, hello and how are you, you know, God loves you and so do I, so you all have a blessed day and I'll catch you tomorrow, alright, I'll be here and I hope that you are too.